In this video, you'll learn how to log into your ChemiDoc, use SmartTray technology, and capture chemiluminescent blot images in three easy steps and export them. To turn on the ChemiDoc, simply push the green button in front of the instrument. When the customizable home screen appears, tap anywhere and your login menu will appear. If you're a new user, type the desired username, click the plus sign, and the new login will be entered. Administrative controls can be set by clicking the person icon in the top right hand corner. To begin, open the imager and pull out the transilluminator. Note that all gels and blots will always be imaged on one of three trays. It is easy but important to clean the trays. Simply use DI water and a Kim wipe to ensure optimal performance. Smart Tray technology automatically responds to the application-specific trays and adjusts imaging parameters and software options. For chemiluminescent blots, select the UV tray. After applying your substrate, center your membrane on the UV tray. Once you are satisfied with the position, push the transilluminator back in and close the drawer. Zoom in until you have the desired imaging area, or simply select Small, Medium, or Large under Image Size. Tap Application and select Chemiluminescence under Blots. Take a preview of your image and set your region of interest. This can be very useful for excluding abnormally bright areas that you won't want to quantify, such as your marker. You may choose between entering your exposure time or detecting your bands automatically. Use optimal exposure to benefit from the full dynamic range of the instrument. Use rapid exposure for shorter exposure times. For low light, quantitative assays like chemiluminescence, additional options are available in the exposure menu. The ChemiDoc provides a recommended binning setting for each image. But user control is enabled to adjust from 1x1 1 1 to 8x8 binning. Select Manual Imaging to access Signal Accumulation Mode. Signal Accumulation Mode makes it easy to find your ideal exposure time. Simply enter the time you want your first image captured and the time you want your last image captured and the number of images you wish to view. For minimal background, we recommend fewer than 5 images per sequence. Or you can simply capture a single image by selecting Set Manual Exposure Time. Tap the camera button to capture the image. The image that appears is automatically saved to the gallery. To see your molecular weight marker easily, capture a color metric image. Then select your favorite chemi exposure and tap Merge at the bottom of the gallery screen. You can also capture the chemi image and an image of your marker at the same time by capturing a multi-channel image. For a quick assessment of the band intensities, you can tap each band. The relative fluorescence units and percent to saturation will appear. To adjust image appearance, tap the transform icon in the lower toolbar. The adjustments will be saved, but the actual data will remain unaffected. Your images will be saved and exported to the gallery. Tap the image info icon. You can enter a custom name in any notes you want to save about your image or experiment. Tap the Send Save icon to select the file format you want. You can export images in multiple file types. Under Export Options, tap a file type and the destination, either saving to a USB drive or to the network. If you choose the ImageLab file format, your custom name and notes, as well as all the data indicated below, are exported to BioRad's license-free ImageLab analysis software available for both Mac and PC. 
We hope that this instructional video has showed you how to capture the perfect chemiluminescence blot image. For further learning, use the complete searchable onboard manual or the Teach As You Tap software assistance tool.